Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to some more Enter the Gungeon. We play as the Paradox today because that's literally the only person we play anymore. Um, that's what happens when you do friggin' uh, you do freaking Paradox streaks. Is you only play as a Paradox. I think we're on five episodes. Maybe it's six, dude. I said I'd do a rainbow run eventually. So, uh, this is me doing a rainbow run. Let's do this thing. We start with the buzzkill and the robot's right hand. I mean, that's, like, literally incredible, uh, if I'm being honest with you. And then a, a gold amulet for the extra blank. Always. Also nuts. Um, clone is just stupid. So, I mean, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, we, we literally could win just immediately if we took clone. Um, I'm sure this is insane, but I, I do love the face melter, uh, and it's a little bit of a, a fun one as well, so it's a really good start, and we're firing, wait a minute, why are we firing bones, question mark, what, what is this gun that I have, it's the robot's right hand, but it's, it's insane? Question mark? I'm missing something and somebody's gonna be like, uh, ooh, Tyler, you're so stupid. Um, how did you not know that the robot- Wait a minute, it's normally the robot's left hand, isn't it? So we have the robot's right hand? I didn't know that that was a thing? Is that what's going on? I might want to Google this, uh, so that I don't make a fool out of myself. Dude, the buzzkill is such an insane gun. Uh, and obviously the face melter. Also very good, um... Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. That's why I took the uh, thing. And there's going to be someone that's like, hey, stupid, you should have taken clone. Um, guaranteed win on the rainbow run if you do. I'm going to be honest with you. We're, we're looking at a guaranteed win not on the rainbow run. Well, I mean, we are on the rainbow run. But we're looking at a guaranteed win on the rainbow run just from the items we have right now. I can't take these. Forgot about that. Uh, can I kill them, though? I can kill them. Okay, cool. Yeah, makes sense. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here. So this is, I, I do uh, the rainbow run. It's coming back to me. Um, it's been literally since the start of uh, this update, farewell to arms, that I, I did a rainbow run. So I have to get back in the mindset of how the rainbow works. Um, for those that, that don't know how the rainbow run works, yo, yo hello. You don't get uh, items. You get a rainbow chest at the start of each floor where you, you get items out of that. Uh, and those items are all you get, really. Uh, you get boss items still. And obviously, HP is going to be an important one. So we're going to want to get flawlesses where we can. Buzzkill is probably, question mark, our best gun in the game. Um, so we're, we're going to be looking to let it carry us at the beginning here i mean it's just very strong and it does it oh you're you're over here face melter is also good but it's definitely is more of a room clearer what the hell is this it's it's the amp from the guitar i understand funny stuff um th there's obviously a lot of I don't know where I was going with this. I'm going to make up a new sentence. There's a lot of game to still go, and I don't know uh, what we need to make that work, but it's going to need a bullet effect somewhere in here. Uh, that would make me happy. Dude, two green chests on the first floor is a little bit insane, but that's okay. Um, shops we'll need to utilize. Probably not for guns, but for, you know... I mean, keys are also not really useful. Um, any keys that we get naturally are just going to get us um you know the random chest drops that occur you can't even buy guns in this shop fair enough i will not be tempted if you can't actually provide me with uh any of them to buy i should look up robots right hand dude and figure out what the hell this gun is because it's clearly not what i thought it was and this is an annoying boss but one that i think uh we do fine against and if we can get uh, him to not corner me in a situation where I will take a lot of damage. I, I really, I genuinely did not want to use a blank there, but I did anyway. Primarily because I misclicked. Face melt a little bit. Going fine. A little bit of robot's right hand. You still got two blanks, dude. 
Just just use him, and, and he's dead. It's good. Not an issue. One flawless in the book, uh, and you still get your, your boss item. Never mind. You totally don't. I, I was wrong all along. Uh, so no boss item either. It means we do have to be a little bit cautious with the items that we take on these, uh, on these floors. It does mean that I can also be a little bit more willing to look for secret rooms, which I know I should be hitting the walls first before I, uh, before I do that. Do we want to go down to the, the secret floor? I don't think so. I, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, a simple human being here. And, uh, I'm not feeling doing that. So let's do this instead. Uh, and what do we want here? I mean, there's so much stuff. <laughs> And I don't know what any of it does, is part of the issue. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to pause. I'm going to go to Dungeon Wiki. And I'm going to go to Items. And I'm going to take a look. I'm going to pop back in game. I'm going to go, okay, what is this thing with a pig's head on it? It's got to be good, right? Like, I feel like that's going to be one that I'm going to want. Hungry Bullets. It's an A. Adds a chance for the player's bullets to block enemy projectiles. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. I know the Zappo rifle. There's a green thing here. Oh, what's the green thing? Green thing. I'm looking around for an oddly green boy. I'm finding no green... There it is. Sprun. Temporarily transforms into Wind Gunner, on wind gunner under special circumstances. I think it's a no for me. Um, oh, I could just look these up in the Ammonomicon, I guess. Um, I kind of forgot that was an option, to be fair. So what? It's like a, a teal, teal blue boy. I probably have just never picked it up, which is a bit of the issue here. If I've never picked it up, I don't know if it's good or not. I don't see the teal blue boy anywhere. Unless it's at the beginning. Teal blue boy? Anything? Anybody? I don't see it. So I have no idea what that is. Uh, I could take a look at the guns now and see. I'm starting to get a little bit too too crazy here, but I got to pick good guns, you know? If the guns are bad, then we're not going to survive the run. Um, looking for... It's not Siren. I, I know that one. Um, teal, teal, teal. They're so small in this picture, dude. I can barely even see them, which is part of the issue. Or I'm just going blind, one of the two. It's not the Hegemony Carbine or the Rifle. Um, the Emperor is an A. Okay, so that's on the list as well. Um, might be a good one to just grab. What's Purple Item Boy? Because that one also looks okay. Um, purple item boy. Let's let's sort it by quality. It's Gundromeda Strain. Uh, decreases health of all enemies encountered by 25 percent. That's like literally insane. Um, I should be taking that, right? I want to take that. Um, but I mean, it's close because some of those were very very good. But we're just gonna kill enemies quickly. Which, if we're killing enemies quickly, we, we don't have to worry about our guns being good. You know, we're we're annihilating enemies with uh, our, our standard pistol here. That I still think is a, a weird, not normal thing. I think it's the robot's left hand is our normal, uh, normal thing that we use. So the robot's right hand is a different story. And I didn't realize the robot can actually start with the right hand. Not the left hand. Or I'm going insane, and I just genuinely don't know how the robot works. There, there's a lot of questions to be asked here. Yeah, that was poor. I, I I understand. Not not very proud of it. You're dead. I'm going to look that up, actually. I, I know I'm pausing the game a lot, but now, now you got me. You got me thinking about my purpose on Earth. But I'm a dan -dan -dan -dan. Robot's right hand. No, you know what? I bet I have a synergy with it. If the player has robot's left hand, it causes an unknown effect. Robot's right hand's alternate skin. Okay, so it's just an alternate skin that I have on. It's not anything spectacular. So it's still doing the same damage, it's just this one's shooting bones. Is that what's going on? Because that makes more sense. I don't necessarily think it's any better. Like, I think it's still just a good starting gun kind of situation. 
or I'm going insane. It's one of the, the, the two. Uh, and frankly, I'm good with any of the above for this. I, I could be going insane. It could just be, you know, a gun skin. All of the above. I'll I'll happily accept and, you know, any of those are canon for me. You're dead. Uh, this is this is the room I run through. And you know what? I will just do the boss because uh, I think we're actually fine. And especially with this guy, we, we crowd control very easily. Um and high damage all the time. Just don't get hit by the laser because it's the only attack that he will ever hit us on. And just keep in mind that he spawns annoying dudes and he spawned them on top of us and that is irritating and frustrating and makes me sad. But it is not an issue. Okay. Good stuff, blank. And flawless. Good stuff. Our shots are still flying around the room at an alarming speed. Uh, more HP. Give me the ammo in that. More hegemonies. Do I actually care about anything on this floor? I really should care about the shop at the minimum. Just because the shop has value. But I mean, you saw it. it we're killing things just much quicker. And that's because of Gondromeda Strain. Uh, it's an S tier item. It's hard to complain about getting it. Um... We're going to take that and run with it every day of the week. Although, maybe not. If I didn't have good guns, I would have taken the Emperor. Um, and there's an 100% chance that I will forget what the Emperor is in the future. But that's neither here nor there. Let's not worry too, too much about it. Give me Sir Junkin. You didn't. That's It's just life, dude. Sometimes you're not going to get Sir Junkin. Sometimes you are. Um, but most of the time, you're just not. Don't kill me. And also, don't hit me. And also... Why is the buzzkill such an incredible gun? And why should I have probably not taken uh, the face melter as my, my other gun here? There's a lot of questions. We'll never know the answers to any of them. This seems like a good place for a blank. And I was 100% correct. Um, sadly, it gave me pretty much nothing in return. But you win some, you lose some. Uh, I will not buy the key. I see no reason to buy pretty much anything. I see no reason. You know what? I see no reason to do the rest of the floor. But I feel guilty. Just moving on, knowing that we might have, you know, an event or something. An event room in one of these that could be, you know, something valuable for us. Like, what if it's a, uh, what if it's the guy, the, the, the game where I could get, like, a red chest out of it? That'd be pretty strong for us. Um, so I feel obligated to do that. The amp also... When I reload, I get an amp. Okay. We can make that work for sure. Explosion. Didn't hurt me, so don't care. And that's just that room. Get me out of here. Run's going fine. 13 minutes in, two floors done. It's actually that's very slow for me. Which is surprising since we're kind of killing it. And now we get the hard choices again. So, what do we want? I mean, this is an easy choice. Um, I will take Riddle of Lead uh, because it's insane. And, and I'm good with this choice. Riddle of Lead is an insanely good item, man. Um, it's extra damage. So the extra damage on top of uh, on top of our already insane lowering the enemy's health. We're just going to be killing it on this run. And this is going to make a very, very easy rainbow run. Uh, and, and you're seeing that already. We're, we're kind of just killing everything very, very quickly. My lord, dude. Very strong. I also believe that maybe it gives a fire rate up as well. Um, yo, the amp, though. So that's how we want to do You want to reload as soon as you get into the room. Uh, and then just get the show going. Like, literally, the show going. It's, it's a shot. Yeah, it's, it's a shot speed up. Uh, Riddle of Lead, I think. And that, that's why we're getting such good uh, good speed out of these shots. So we're looking for some special rooms. If we can grab some special rooms, that's going to make me uh, a happy camper here. Because then that... Pro mm, don't do this. That provides us with... Uh, I just got hit by poison, and that's incredibly disappointing. Get the amp down. Oh, it's so much damage, man. It's so good. Loving this run. Um, we haven't had this strong of a Gungeon run in a hot minute, but this one is stupid strong. Uh, and we could make it even more strong. Can you imagine if we were able to 
like duct tape our uh, face melter to our buzz kill or something stupid like that uh, and just be doing first of all it'd have like 2,000 ammo to it but then to be doing that constant insane damage all the time it's a mimic man didn't expect you to be honest with you but that's okay and of course it has nothing because you're a real son of a gun oh well the fight didn't hurt me in any way so that's kind of the the benefit here we are going to be in the camp for another gun um and obviously that can be done in a variety of ways we, we can find one from a chest um that we we find on the floor can't really buy any from in here which is why i'm just going to do the standard buying the map it just seems so worthless to buy the map like, oh, what, what am I going to do? I'm going to do all the rooms anyway. Um, if it shows me the secret room, then maybe there's value there. But I, I still don't really think so. This screams boss to me. It was not the boss. Okay. Sometimes even the smartest people in the world don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and then sometimes I also don't know what I'm talking about. Because let's be honest. Something real wrong has happened if I'm the smartest person in the world. I mean, some very, very intelligent people have died, and we might be in a nuclear apocalypse, but... Okay, snag that. Buzzkill's still our best gun, uh, and I don't really even need to tell you that. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, face Melter's still very good, but... Uh, it, it's clear the direction that I'm going on this one, and that is Buzzkill all the way. Trying to figure out how I didn't get hit in this room, but... Something that I will uh, continue to figure out in the uh, later future. Get out of here, little froggo. We've actually killed like 15 of those froggos on this one. And just go. Uh, there, there is another chest, but do you think I care about figuring out uh, that at the current moment? This is actually annihilating him. And I guarantee to you we're walking out of this one with a flawless. Uh, as long as I continue to crank on this guy the way that we are cranking on him right now i mean he's actually just getting melted um use your blanks if you need to this is a good use okay and you're dead <laughs> most anticlimactic fight ever but hey not going to complain. It's just a killer run. There, there's nothing that I'm really even doing special on this one. Um, it's just a stupidly good run. We've got no special event rooms, though. Um, like, going this far without any is... That's pretty rare. Unless they literally, you know, patch it so that rainbow runs don't get anything like that. But I feel like that was not the case in the previous rainbow runs that I did. Why am I using the face melter here? Uh, it's just literally a poor idea. Get smacked, buddy. Didn't even do that big of a smack, but that's okay. Maybe there's no special rooms. I don't know. Uh, all I know is we are in the kill it camp. Anything in here? I suppose hot maybe there's something in here. Yeah, there is a special room. Okay, so I'm not going crazy. They exist. Um, we, we've just been pretty unlucky to not get any. He doesn't sell anything, though. That's, that's hilarious. Good stuff. Okay, uh, so we go. What happens if we get a, uh, <laughs> the, the guy who, who does the game? Does he just, like, drop a chest, but I can't take anything? Is that what happens? Okay, uh, so I know what this gun does. It's an okay gun. I, I'm not going to deny that, but I don't necessarily think we need it. Let's take a look at... So there was kind of that black gun there. Um, I'm going to see. It's the Patriot. Is that literally what that is? I'm going to take a look. It's the Patriot, dude. It's an S-tier gun. Because <laughs> apparently it's just every gun is an S-tier gun uh, that we're getting right now. I'm just going to make sure that white uh, ammo bullet looking thing isn't like, you know, the greatest thing in the game or something. Um... The white one. I'm looking. I'm looking. So far, I'm not see. I'm not even seeing it. White guanstone. No, it, that is not good enough for me. I will take the patriot, which appears to be a. I just fell down the elevator shaft. 
That's okay. There's nothing down here anyway. I made my choice. Hobo was a wise one. Oh, it was a wise one, buddy. So this thing is just a high damage, uh, high damage gun, I guess. Is there a way to make it fire faster? Yeah. Okay. So if I hold down, it starts to fire stupid fast. So it's got the precision where I can kind of tap shoot and it does a lot of damage. Or I can just hold it down and then just it, it starts to go insane. Okay, yeah, this gun's really good. Um, I, I'm I'm a-okay with this. Uh, and it's just going to lead us to another flawless on this floor, but... Hello, friend. Okay. But where's the real one is the question of the hour. He's, he's standing next to the fake one. They're on the same line, dude. I think that killed him. This does start to use up bullets pretty quickly. So we got to be a little bit cautious about that. But it, it tears on the damage, man. Like, it, it, it hits hard once you're uh, actually hitting people. I'm content. I, I'm glad I took it. Uh, and it's a gun that I don't think I've ever used. So it's another one to add to my list of ones that I will hopefully not forget about. That's why I like the rainbow runs, because they actually, they, they force me to use a bunch of guns that I I might not actually use, or like get, I guess, in general. Uh, I will do this, for sure. I think that literally just makes me even stronger, which is even dumber. Uh, and then this guy, I'm going to be honest with you, he may never live to tell this tale. I'm surprised he's not already dead. Yeah, that was just rude. To be fair. Um, and do I get the chest? Of course not. A little stupid boy takes it. Hi, buddy. Fair enough. And that wasted a key to do that? Are you are you serious? That's even more rude. Oh, well. It's not like I can get it anyway. Uh, so I'm not overly concerned. But at least we saw what this gun can do. And, and I think that if we get someone like Pink Floyd's wall on this uh, floor, this is the gun we use. Um, possibly High Priest, this is the gun we used. No, you know what? I know what the, uh, the altar did. It gives me the chance to regen HP by standing near enemies that are red. I, I remember this. We've done this before. Yeah, it's already doing it. It's just I, I have full HP, so it doesn't really matter. It's going fine. I am in full on. Like, we're, we're speed running now. I might as well just go find the boss. Um, and try to get it over with. I think there is a realistic chance that I flawless every single boss uh, that we fight. Except for maybe the Lich. Um, just because I'm insane. I'm not that insane. But th there's still a chance. I'm going to be honest. That that's how good this run is. A synergy chest? Dude, would have loved it. Really would have. Kind of figured maybe that would be the secret room. But I should probably save the three blanks, you know? They have some inherent value uh, beyond just being a blank. Oh, boy, it's Matt Man. How will they find a way to not allow me to use him? <laughs> I I'm excited to figure it out. Is he going to be like, oh, thanks for the whole map, but you're a real son of a gun. I'm not going to give you uh, anything. A strange, a strange, I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. I met a strange man. Uh, he, he told me, just don't give him anything if you run into him. I will do it though. And actually we're gonna we're gonna do the boss. It's not Pink Floyd's wall. It's four towers, which I think this is absolutely a face melting scenario. And we'll just place down the uh the thing right there. And, and it's already it's just it's just smacking them around, so. It's gonna kill one of them. Good stuff. It, it's a, it actually just melted another one of them. Uh and that I got hit. I'm mad, dude. I should not have gotten hit there. Just get the Iron Patriot going again here. Okay. I should not have gotten hit as, as super bad, and I am not proud of it. Uh, but he gave me 2 HP on top of it. Very, very dumb. Okay, we're going to do the rest of the floor just because in case Matt Man can give me anything, uh, I want to see what he gives me. And maybe he can literally give me nothing, and I'm wasting my time small chance 
I'm gonna say even smaller than small. It's a it's an okay chance that that happens, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. What do you got, shop? Uh, armor, good stuff. Uh, ammo in the Iron Patriot, good stuff. A blank to look for a, a super secret room. No such stuff, but still a possibility. Blank there as well, no stuff. You win some, you lose some. Kind of wanted that dude's HP. If I find another enemy that is uh, red, I'm going to stand. Don't stand. Don't stand so, except I'm going to stand so close to him. Don't. That's rude, buddy. Okay. Final room? Fi no, not final room. One more still. There we go. We're, we're at full HP. At some point it activated. I didn't see it. Face Melter, Iron Patriot. You, you literally just spawned away uh, stuff. That's the thing is uh, Map Man straight gives an item. It's not him giving a chest or something. So maybe we're actually in the clear and we will get said item. I'm just not banking on it. We got three junk on this uh, stupid run. And this is for sure going to be a room. It's not. It's just a little tiny room. Okay, let's take a look at Map Man. I'm not expecting anything. Uh, in fact, I'm expecting nothing, but I did my due diligence, and for that, I am proud. Hello, hello. Yes. I didn't finish. Dude, I, I did. Oh, technically, I didn't go up here. <laughs> okay, map complete. I got you, buddy. Gotcha. Okay. It, share the completed map. Thank you. Strange old man gave it to me. Oh, look. It's nothing. <laughs> Am I irritated? No. I'm just a little bit upset is all. Fair enough. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. Speaking of real quick, 27 minute gungeon run right now. That's real freaking quick. Is that the ruby bracelet, dude? Hold up. That's awesome because if it is, um, we need that. Let me search Ruby on this uh, page. Ruby. It is the Ruby bracelet, man. I needed to deliver this to Thingmajiggy. So it grants immunity to contact damage, grants the ability to charge a roll by moving constantly without rolling or taking damage for four seconds. I, I don't really know if I want to make this opportunity about doing that, especially when we have other good stuff here, like Katana bullets are insane. Uh, obviously, the reload stone's very good. Whatever that gun is also looks like it's probably nuts. Um, because it looks like a hyper blaster. <laughs> I don't even know how else to describe it, but it looks quite good. I'm just going to take a look and see if it's in like the top couple of guns. Oh, it's not an S tier. Um, it also doesn't appear to be an A tier either. So maybe it's not... Well, it is. It's the robot's left hand. I have to take it, dude. I have to take it. Uh, I have to take it. It's the robot's left hand. Now I got the robot's left hand and the robot's right hand. Yeah, okay. It, it Totally worth. When, when you have both hands, it becomes a one full robot is what I'm going with. I'm content with this. There were, there were probably better plays, okay? But thematically, you find me a better play than having one full robot. Okay. Give me the right hand. Give me the left hand. Uh, finish with the right. Go up with the left. Lay up. LeBron James wins the game. How, how else are you going to do it, honestly? Thank you. You're a real, real pain. I, the fact that I was able to just, like, completely ruin that guy's life in the span of a couple seconds... Boy, that makes me feel good. Thank God that this guy's back to sell me friggin' nothing. Feels good. What are we gonna want on our boss fight? Look, I mean, first of all, we we probably just straight up win the run. Also, I somehow managed to, like, trill the weirdest part of that word. But, um, what are we gonna want to do for the boss fight? I do think that there is a part of me that thinks that just holding down the Patriot and letting it go is the best choice. Although, getting the amp going with uh, Music Note Boy. Setting it up right next to uh, the Dragon. That's going to do 
a lot of damage. But, like, this right now, it, it, it's melting everybody. You, you can't even argue with that. It will destroy the dragon. Like, and then this is also, but this is much more of a room clear, and we should really be using it as such. Just use it as a very strong room clear. Uh, let it rip. Another synergy chest that would have been phenomenal, but hey, that's okay. I'm not going to get salty over the game being in rainbow run mode. I think it's given me enough good stuff on this run. Um, I don't know if this was just insane luck for me, but this has been one of the most effortless gungeon runs that I've ever done in my life. Uh, it'd actually be a shame if I don't beat the Lich on this one, because I think that if there's any run that I'm just going to waltz in uh, and beat the Lich, this is going to be the one to do it. So let's do this. And then get your blanks in and start letting it rip, man. Let's see what we can do. So that's already melted him down a ton. Let's see how the Patriot does. Also good. Oh my god, dude. Very good. This this is melty. <laughs> It's very melty. Okay, yeah, I, I I think we've done okay on this run. It makes me very sad that we would, did not end up getting our, our super flawless. Um, which would have been flawlessing the fort. Well, I suppose we just also missed that one, so we would not have flawless this one either. I suppose that actually makes it better uh, in, in some sense. Can we just straight up kill you in one wave? We absolutely can. Too strong, dude. I mean, it's just too strong of a run. Is very, very good. Now, do I want to go back and find the forge, or do we just want to head down uh, to the lich? I also could not pick those up for the life of me. The forge is probably close, uh, so I think I'm going to go find it. And, and really, it's just we're going to get, you know, a... We're going to get, like, a piece of armor, maybe two, which would be ideal. So, some armor... You're not going to get a gun. Like, that that's not an option. Um, so, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. But, maybe, just maybe, it'll provide me some kind of value that makes the Lich easier. Or maybe, you know, the, the Breach, or whatever it is, is the only place that has um, guns that you can buy. And since we have 137 money, I really hate for that to just go to waste. Uh, and there's really nothing else that we use it for here. Like, this is probably it. Yeah. And there's not anything we can buy, but we can buy ammo and uh, just dump that into the Patriot. And then we'll go. It's a good run. It's a very good run. It's easily probably the best Gungeon run I've ever had in my life. Um, I can't even imagine if we somehow got all these items on a regular Gungeon run where we could take uh, items on top of it. We would just have spiraled so far out of control, uh, it'd be insane. But, sadly, it's in a rainbow run, although that's also how we got all of these good items. We also still get another one on top of it. Um, this is just insane, so is the star pew. Um, but Ancient Heroes Bandana is really good, and then adding it to a synergy with the Patriot... Sounds really dumb. The Patriot has 2,000 bullets now, um, because of... Ancient Heroes Bandana. I mean, it's also just is what it does. Um, is it adds more shots to everything. We will never run out of ammo now. And, and we could actually just use Iron Patriot forever. Um, I mean, it's just dumb. <laughs> it's just dumb. One ammo box basically ensures we win. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that if I have... This gun fires even faster because of the synergy. I mean, we, we will melt the Lich if we have the ammo when we make it to it. You know, it requires us having the ammo, but that that's that's kind of the easy part, I feel. You know, that just requires us getting a lucky ammo box. This sucks, though. I took some hits in this room. Do I have high curse, or was this just unlucky room, a lot of cursed enemies? I think it was just unlucky room. I would like to get relatively close, take back your HP. We lost a little bit there. I, I'm not 
I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But, um... Was a bit unfortunate. If you can kill this guy, get back some HP. We didn't get any, but it still did some damage. You as well. Okay. We haven't actually gotten back any HP from doing this, but... There's not whole heck of a lot that we can do about that. There's another guy that we can do that to. Armor. It's HP, so I'm happy. Losing to the Lich would be disastrous on this run. I feel like there's a lot of people that are going to be like, you know, Tyler, this is the luckiest Gungeon run you're ever going to see in your life. Take advantage of that kind of thing. Get a good Lich kill. Not that we need the Lich Kill. I mean, we've already we've already gotten our, our streak requirement. Uh, those that don't watch the series, I consider a win beating the dragon for the streak. Uh, at least until we get very good at the game. Yo, what are the snakes, though? Is this is this part of the synergy as well? Is uh, they, they turn enemies into snakes. And then those snakes I can kill and get HP from? What, what is this? <laughs> I'm missing. It's I know the reference. Let me guess. Solid snake. So thus I'm I'm turning enemies into snakes. It's hilarious. Good stuff, dude. If that's not the reference, then I look really strange now. Um, but I'll accept that. This is the new canon. Is that this is the gun that Snake uses? Look, I played Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I know all about Solid Snake. That was his primary game, right? <laughs> Just triggered, like, any Solid Snake fans out there. Just get me to the Lich, dude. I, I just want to fight this guy and get this over with. Um, I feel like the more that I, I walk around the floor, the more that I'm just going to get hurt. Um, and then end up ruining my chances at a Lich victory. Like, there's too many enemies now. And maybe that's a good case for me to just use this stupid thing. I used a blank. That is not what I wanted to use at all. I did find this stupid room, which we can dump guns into, but that's a very bad idea right now. Um, I am happy with the guns I have. This is a room where you Iron Patriot and you never look back, dude. It's a garbage room. I only have two and a half HP. That leaves a lot to be desired, actually. Um, I've kind of started to play like garbage. Make that 2 HP. Still playing like garbage. That part is not changed in the slightest. And nowhere near uh, where the boss is. This is good stuff. One ammo box. Just one. I think it's all we really need to secure the win. But obviously, easier said than done. Does that actually give me HP? I don't... Oh, that is, like, literally the worst thing I could have done. I am actually going to die. Uh, and that is going to be a brand new low for me. One heart. Can I beat the Lich with one heart? Uh, seems very, very unlikely. That said, I've done stupider things before. So I'm down. I didn't leave a heart anywhere, did I? I did not. It's got to be the Lich here soon. Just just allow me to, to make it to my final destination. Is there just a single bulletkin in this room? No, now you, now you toss out Wiggly Boys. We all know my opinion on the Wiggly Boys. I hate the Wiggly Boys. Too many... Wiggly shots around the room. And then you got you down here. Still no lich. Someday, man. I'm out of bullets in my one gun. How did you sneak a shot? I died, dude. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Someone's going to be like, you are the worst gungeon player I've ever seen. Uh, but that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. It was in a very, very strong run. We continue on with our streak of, I believe, five, maybe six. Could be seven. Uh, could be four. I don't know. I just wanted to do a rainbow run. So it's an easy choice for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You have a good day. Bye-bye.